In today's video, we'll explore math word problems, a common question type you'll encounter in cognitive assessments. These questions evaluate your ability to extract relevant information from a text and translate it into mathematical expression, a critical skill in problem solving. Together, we'll dive into example questions, showcase effective strategies, common mistakes, and discuss how these questions try to trick you. This first question has a lot of text, and our first job is to find the relevant information. As most of it is a waste of time, we can skim it, focusing on the numbers and key information associated. What we will find is the total number of students in the school is 120. Percentage of students who attend is 80%. Each attendee brings one guest, and each person who attends receives one ticket. Our goal is to find out how many tickets are distributed at the event. So the first thing we need to do is calculate the number of students who attend. So we have 80% will attend and 120 students in total. To find 80% of a number, multiply the number by 0 0.8. Number of attending students is 120 multiplied by 0 0.8, which equals 96. If you don't have a calculator and you need to work this out, you can find 10% of 120, which is simply taking off one zero, which will equal 12. As we're looking for 20%, we simply double 12 and get 24. That's the amount of students that will not attend. So we take our total student amount, 120 minus 24, and we'll get the same answer of 96. The second step is to determine how many people will attend. We know that each student will bring one guest and there are 96 students. And when we double 96, we get 192. As each person attending requires one ticket, it will be the same amount of tickets. So our final answer is option D, 192. A common mistake is to overlook the guests also receive tickets or to miscalculate the number of attendees by not accounting for the guests. Another mistake is getting bogged down by unnecessary details or getting confused by the wording. Our next question asks us to convert numbers to find the answer. To start, we we'll highlight the key parts. Four and a half inches or 4.5 for simplicity, a quarter of an inch or 0 0.25 equals 150 miles. And we need to find out how many miles to get from Greensboro to Fresno. Now from a quick glance at the answer options, I can see they are very far apart. And this is great. It means we don't need to find the exact answer, just estimate to find something close. Now to find the exact answer, we would see how many 0.25s fit into 4.5 and then multiply by 150. But instead, we will estimate. 0.25 multiplied by 10 equals 2.5. And 2.5 multiplied by 2 equals 5, which is a little over 4.5. So now we'll take our number, 150, multiply it by 10, and then by 2. And we get 3,000. So our answer is a little under 3,000. Looking at our answer options, we can immediately eliminate option A, C, and E, leaving 2,950 and 2,700. As we know, 0 0.25 is 150 miles and our estimated answer is 5, which is more than 0 0.25 away from the actual answer, we can say our actual answer is more than 150 miles less than 3,000, which removes option B, 2,950, leaving option D as our final answer. Feeling comfortable converting numbers and of course practice are vital in answering this question type quickly and accurately. Thanks for watching and best of luck on your test.